Hey everybody, this is Fran Frischella, draft expert and basketball junkie. To everybody who's watching, let's get our friends at General Manager Games the subscribers they deserve. Just press that red subscriber button and immerse yourself in sports AI through GM Games content. And on Twitter, it's GM underscore games. Let's get after it. Let's go. Boom. Here we go, guys. Welcome back. And we're just going to go straight to it. All right. So starting off the season, uh, this is actually going to be a really weird season, I think, because I don't know if I'm going to go with Life, who Winston or Johnson. They're probably all going to play. Let's start with Johnson, though, coming over from Houston. Looking at running back here, Evan Henderson is definitely the starter. Uh, Colin Little played really good last season, but um, he might just be mixed in a little bit. Uh, but honestly, we could all we could definitely shuffle them all around a bit this season. We got some good blood now going. Kyle Valda is joining our receiving core. Not too bad progs here. Dakota Castle, did he do anything last season? Nah, he's been straight decline since he joined us. Hopefully, we might be able to get him a ring this year. And we're a little bit better than last season at quarterback, but not great. Will Hunter is still the tight end. Travis Johnston, actually, he will probably play a bigger role at running back for us. He's going to probably start the year as our backup running back. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't expect him to play very much, if at all, at tight end. Uh, looking at O-linemen, we're great. Again, another great year for our O-line. Great defensive linemen, too. Consider consistently strong defense here. Um, two great performers at both of our positions. I mean, we're just or in the defensive back. I mean, we're just really solid across the board here. Uh, we do need to move the punter wherever he is. I like to make sure the punter is the backup. Cody Roderick. This is mostly just so it doesn't obscure stats, if I'm being honest. Kind of wish it would automatically set that. Or, like, all kickers and punters would be the best backups at their position. But I know sometimes you have a guy like Julian Edelman that can do it all. But, come on, we can't all be as blessed as the Patriots. I'm a Patriots fan, so of course I am. Um, we all have Little and Valdez. I mean, we have some really potentially great special teamers right now. Um, but Little is coming off of a really solid season. Uh, as a special teamer, so we'll see how that goes, and um, let's get to it, so start of the season, um, Sean Johnson, um, first game, three touchdowns, not bad, we did lose, uh, we did suffer a sizable injury to our O-line too, um, and our running game wasn't as strong as I'd hoped, game two, much better, uh, Colin Little does get hurt, though. This will give us a sizable opportunity uh, to assess our other uh, returner, Valdez. We'll see how he compares uh, when while Little's out. Wow. Blown out. Did not expect that. Um, yep, that happened. And then a bounce back game, of course. Uh, Little is back now, but I'll, I'll evaluate and see who did better. Uh, average yards on kick returns. Little does pick up the win there. But Valdez has outperformed him on punt returns, and we'll take those from him. Um, from a receiving standpoint, Valdez has not done much at all. Uh, Dawkins is the only one having a good season. Uh, we may or may not bench Johnson right now. I'm not committing to him. I, I mean, I guess, I don't know if I want to commit to him as the starter. I've committed to Laifu before. Um, but honestly, Winston's the end game of these guys. I think everyone knows it. If any of these guys are going to hold the job for multiple seasons, it's going to be Winston, um, most likely. So, another eh game. We're averaging just over 100 yards a carry. I think, honestly, at this point, it wouldn't be too bad to switch it up. Uh, worst case, we get an upgrade. So, Winston in UCOM with Deshaun moving to the bench. Um, instantly a bad game. I guess that happens. Let's we'll see if Winston can bounce back. Uh, he does. Pick up the win. A little bit more activity going on for him. Um, from a running back standpoint, we just don't have the pass catchers that we used to. Uh, and I think that's definitely hurt in the game. Uh, we did have a decent stack game there. Um, but Winston's not really doing that great. Uh, I think the Henderson with a big rushing game. But honestly... I think a large problem is that we don't have any pass catchers in the running back spots. So I kind of want to try a little out a little bit there because he was effective uh, in the pass catching game. He has proven it. 
we're losing, but we're having high scoring games, which confuses me because I think we have a good defense. But apparently it's not as good as I thought. Winston's not how four and seven. Ah. Oh, this isn't going the way I hoped. I think I'm gonna put Laifu in to be honest. Maybe he can guess to the playoffs. We'll have to go on a pretty hot streak here. Um we'll see. Laifu's proven that he can he can do miracles, so we'll see. Nope, instantly destroyed in his first game. Alright. Laifu's on three picks. God. This is not our season. Not much better in his second week. We'll probably we're not we're not long for life who it looks like. I mean Evan Henderson's having a phenomenal season, but honestly, Curtis Life who just does not look like he's the part. Winston didn't really look like he had his legs under him yet, but I guess we have no choice. Um Colin Little looks great in the passing game, but that's really about it. Um, at this point, I kind of want to give Rick Loach a little bit more time, but Johnston's been fairly effective, and Evan Henderson's definitely the future at a running back spot. I mean, in his second season here, he's probably going to lead the league in rushing or be up there. Um, after having a great season last year, he's on pace for 300 carries, which is insane. Uh, we'll see if he can get there in this next game. Um, I guess that's kind of my my only positive takeaway from this season. Um, 303 carries, 5 touchdowns, 22 catches. He's definitely the best running back in the league this season, but uh, our team just was not good at all. Um, ultimately, the best quarterback was Winston for us, but not by much. Laifu does continue his streak of playing at least one snap in every season um, since being drafted in uh, the second round, but yeah, not going the way I hoped. Um, I'm not committing to Winston next season. I I think that this season was just a, a flip of the coin, so to speak. Um, he happened to be the one that had the longest tenure, but I'm not going to say that this season was really any of them that I was committing to. Just kind of filling it in. Yeah, I got fired. Lovely. Lovely. So uh, I believe that will be the end of this video, though I do want to see Henderson did not get anywhere. We'll start another video with the new team. Um, we'll get that out soon, but I think this will be the end of the uh, St. Louis series. Uh, so uh, looking at my GM history here, um, I had conference finals. I had a Super Bowl appearance, a couple other playoff rounds uh, in three, six, and ten seasons. Not too bad at all. Um, Cecil Lawrence, DJ Mack, what, uh, Will Hunter, probably the most memorable names. Um, we had some really good moments with um, Daryl Dawkins. We had uh, a bunch of cork packs. I mean, looking at our quarterbacks that we went through, uh, these are just the big name ones. Uh, you had Will Gordon, who suffered the career-ending injury. Tyler Adams, who won MVP that one year and looks like he's struggling in San Diego. And Curtis Lifu. So we'll look at new job opportunities in the next video. Um, I know this one was a quickie. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Um, but that's what happens when you get fired mid-season. So, yep. And uh, see you guys next.